So this is a bit of diatom algae that's in the bottom of this aquarium. Look at that tiny little skunk clownfish. Um, diatom algae is basically grows in response to silicates in tap water. So if you use RO water, you usually don't have too much problem with these diatoms. And if you use phosphate removing sponges such as um, cephalophos or biochem, sorry, not biochem, I mean um, uh, phosban or roophos, they'll all help to remove the silicates so you don't get this layer of brown unicellular algae all over the bottom of the aquarium. If it gets worse, it could turn into a red algae. But either way, a product like Fosban is going to end up solving your problem for you. People reduce light, they do all sorts of things, but just reduce your phosphate and it does go away. Got to be a little bit patient sometimes. In this tank, also adding something like a Strom snail or a Blenny, sorry, more, more like a Gobi, which is going to dig up the bottom a bit is also going to help that. And this tank does have a surprisingly high amount of light for what a good value tank it is. This is the um, Aqua Nano Marine 36 by Aqua One. Surprisingly good value tank. It's got some marine pure balls in the back, so the water goes down past your marine pure balls. Um, we've got a bit of polyfilter in there as well. It's got a protein skimmer, it's got the return pump. It's a pretty good value little unit. LED lights on top. For the money you pay, what else can you ask for? So very easy to fix diatom algae, reduce silicates. So use RO water for your top ups, use RO water to mix up your salt and use a phosphate remover and there shouldn't be a problem.